Hi, today it's going to be just a little poem and it's going to be about a hedgehog. Unfortunately, hedgehog can't come because it's not dark yet and they only come out in the night. Oh, what? Hang about. What? Blue man? Hedgehog? You wanted to come and say hello? Okay, hello? Why are you doing that the day? You're supposed to be asleep. Yes, hedgehogs sleep in the day, come out in the night. Yeah. Look, hang on. What? You're out in the day because you collected nesting material. Because you're going to have babies. So you go out in the day sometimes to go and grab some nesting material for the babies to be born in. Or have a drink. Okay. Hang on. You're not doing a nest. Are you sure? You aren't, are you? No, because you're a boy. Yeah, you can laugh. Oh, you haven't got babies in your belly. Mm. You wanted to hear the story, didn't you? Um, it's not a story today, it's a poem. Yes, I know, it's about a hedgehog. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because hedgehogs, see, they come out in the night and they like to wander around our gardens. And they eat worms, they eat beetles, and they eat all the creepy crawlies that are bad for our gardens and our plants. So they're really very good for our gardens. Yeah, yes, I know, I'll say that in the poem. A lot of gardens now got big walls and they've kept the fences down, so hedgehogs can't get around like they could. So they really need our help to have little holes in the garden on the size of a little CD disc so that they can creep through and have a snuffle about with their friends. I know, I feed hedgehogs. I've got a feeding station so the cats can't get in and eat the food and hedgehogs can come in and go in and eat the food. And there's lots of water about the garden too because especially in this dry weather, they need a lot of water because they can get very poorly. And if you see a hedgehog out in the day, as long as it's not looking like it's doing something special, like collecting nesting material and knows what it's doing, they usually need a bit of help. You want to hear that? Oh, come on then. Are you going to go back to sleep then? You will, yeah, because it's not dark, is it? No, you, you need to be, you know, in bed when it's daytime and then come up in the night. Yeah, I know. Well, well I'll read this and then you better go back to sleep. Okay. Okay, Spike. Is this Spike? What? Spike because he, yeah, that's right, because he is spine, spiky. My hair, well, my hair. You mean, I should be called Spike because my hair. So I look like a hedgehog. Well, there's a thing to say. Yeah, yeah, cheeky monkey. No, I know, cheeky hedgehog. Okay, yes, I have a spiky hair. Yes, well, yes, but okay. Um, it's because I love hedgehogs. That'll do. Okay, and here's the, the little poem, okay? Spike the Hedgehog. My name is Spike the Hedgehog. I'm not out in the day, for in the shadows of darkness is when I like to play. I snuffle around your gardens, eat a bug or two. I'm really very useful about the place for you. I sometimes feel in lockdown with hedges replaced by walls. I only need a little gap. It's not too big at all. I really love to wander between your gardens, truth be told. Then I can avoid the dangers of the road. A lovely dish of water, perhaps some cat food too. That would be really extra kind of you. So, may I ask a favour? Your garden, can I get in? Will you leave a scruffy patch and check before you strim? You like that, yeah, strim it, yes. Well, when we cut the grass and use a strimmer, sometimes hedgehogs are curled up asleep in the grass, see? So we need to check to make sure they're not there and try and leave them alone. And the scruffy patch, yeah, they like scruffy little patches in the garden, perhaps some logs for bugs, and then they can eat the bugs, and some dried branches and leaves and things so they can nest underneath and have babies, yeah? And yeah, you need to wander between gardens, yes. Well, they said that in the poem, didn't they wander between gardens? 
yeah and the road yes we don't like the road do we no you've got to be very careful everybody's got to be careful on the roads haven't they yeah you're tired well i'm not surprised so you've got to go yeah okay we go back to the children then bye bye thank you for coming along and we'll see you again i'm sure bye he's snuffling off now well that was a short little problem bye